Hello everyone, Simon here from the Wells of Wall Street. Another video for you guys today. EWT Energy Web got really cool update here on the staking mechanism. So listen out for that momentarily. Before we go into that, do check out our other videos after this one. Loads of different discussions and topics as we always say. Um, but yeah, if there's any that you have in your portfolio that you want us to cover more and more, let us know in the comments and we always try and add them, particularly ones that I always try and add to my portfolio or have an interest in, but I want to be here for everyone. So just let me know if there's anything in particular you want to shout out, but hopefully we cover most of them anyway already for you guys. Do not forget also to smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the bell button if you're really intrigued to have notifications of videos that we have coming away as and when they are delivered. Now straight into this one I will keep this video fairly sweet. Um, we've also got chart update on EWT to go through as well um, but this topic here in particular is around the community staking uh, aspect. Now, for those that don't know, uh, the existing one is ending on December the 18th. So literally 12 days from now as of recording. Um, and I've been enjoying the staking, to be fair, on the consortia uh, relay mechanism that they put in, in place. I believe it was like March last year. Um, I've actually been staking with EWT before then as well on the previous uh, staking platform that they had. If you remember the video we did on Alliance Block yeah. this week, it was quite interesting actually. I, I do actually believe that there's a lot of integration of Alliance Block um, in, in there as well. So uh, let's uh, think about this in a bit more detail um, as we go through this mini article. So I'm just going to pull out some really important mechanisms here. As I've mentioned, we've got the uh, ending of the existing one, the 18th. What happens after then? Well, First and foremost, you will get put into two different categories, gold and silver. Uh, each of these are based on how long you have been staking for and your consistency. Have you been pulling in or out, etc. Um, I'm not sure entirely if it, it means like there's a minimum or a maximum that you would have had to be able to be identified of which, which one you will be, gold or silver. But certainly it just mentions really about consistency. So... Um, so far, the consistency of staking has been high with both the total staked amount and the number of stakers continually increasing. That's great to hear. Uh, this is a phenomenal project. Uh, we will go into the price point shortly because we might want to have a look at something that may happen when the 18th of December comes um, and perhaps potentially people's interest in trying to add to that uh, in counteraction. So we'll go on to that topic in a second. Uh, but there's some staking snapshots that have been occurring throughout the year already. I believe there's maybe one more left, maybe even two, uh, before the end of this. And again, if you're relatively new to it, you could still maybe potentially get that chance to get into the silver. I'm not quite sure. But there will be actually a third staking pool open after the 18th, along with silver and gold as well. So it's not fully over. Um, it hasn't quite mentioned particularly... Um, as exactly when this might start, but it may even start directly on the 18th straight after. Uh, but what will be happening is uh, there will be a weak um, opportunity of staking in the gold or silver for extra rewards on top of what you've already had. Then moving forward, this is really interesting, the new green pool will open to everyone. So even if you're not on silver and gold, it doesn't matter. You will have the opportunity to stake EWT. I think this is fantastic. The daily rewards will be set at 0.01% pretty much, right? Uh, which is the equivalent to an APY of 6.32%. Absolutely br brilliant uh, to see this uh, for people that want to stake and for everyone out there. Now, if you're in silver and gold, I believe the rewards are higher um, but I don't think it suggests just yet how much higher. I mean, it'd be fantastic if it was uh, over that 10% mark, I'd have to say, uh, as a continuation, uh, very much so or nearly as it has been for the last year. And I think this would be adopted by a lot of people and want to progress this because I for sure um, was in a position a couple months to add more EWT from my from the exchange and everything across to it. But I felt, well, there's only a month left. I'll leave it until we just see, see what's happening afterwards because otherwise I might just be dropping it back. I didn't really anticipate that there would be some really cool functionalities moving forward after this mechanism. Um, and as they mentioned here as well, 
the importance of staking um, is, is really lucrative, really, for the development and the progression of EWT and its users outside of that as well. Um, and it also mentions here uh, that uh, this is quite interesting. So DIDs, the digital identity aspect, um, being being part of this mechanism as well. Only DIDs with the VCs were able to stake EWT in this pool. So it's all very much about verification and processing. Uh, the consortia pool, which which is the one that took over, launched in March 2022, uh, also required users to have the VC issued. Uh, so this is verification basically uh, via the email address. Uh, and as I said, the snapshots were taken across the year. Um, this is really cool uh, to mention. Consistent staking uh, is basically the staking economic value without removing stake at different intervals is a mission critical to increasing the cybersecurity of energy web solutions via energy web tokens. Enterprise solutions like Greenproofs, Asset Management and Data Exchange will use EWT staking as a cybersecurity measure where the combined EWT stake of all users provides economic security and adds an additional layer of security against a variety of attack vectors. Very interesting stuff there. And also just the general usage yeah. and utility of EWT increasing as it goes by as well. Um, so yeah, that's it really, guys, in terms of the update. I think it's a really important one because people have been waiting and anticipating what's coming. Uh, there's been a few people in the recent EWT videos that we've done asking where we can stake. And I have directed people to the consortia, but did mention that this was ending very soon. So you may want to just hold by until this opens up or maybe get yourselves involved in general just to see if you get put into a silver or gold um, participation element. Otherwise, worst case scenario is the green one. And in fact, everyone will be able to participate in the new green pool launched on December the 13th. So this is actually already uh, coming very much sooner before that 18th mark. So do make sure that you keep an eye on that launching. I'm sure uh, it's probably actually beneficial, to be fair, to keep an eye on their social medias for the consistent and up-to-date um, information that will come out for them. So I'm excited about this. We'll cover that near the time as well. And as I mentioned, we'll just jump into the chart quickly here also uh, for this video. Um, do always bear in mind that anytime there's kind of like staking pools opening and closing, you do sometimes get a fluctuation of pricing uh, movements in the charts. Um, sometimes it's hard to identify, but you, they can usually stand out quite, quite easily just from the, the significant jumps within short spaces of time. Uh, so what you may get on the 18th is people pulling out that they want to maybe sell their tokens or the ones that they've accumulated as rewards into the marketplace to sell and make some money off them. Or you might get an influx of more people coming in because the green one will start on the 13th and people will be really interested who may have missed out from the earlier stages or, or more recent stages of the consortia staking opportunity of EWT and jump into doing that. Hence, uh, therefore, a price maybe move in a positive direction because obviously people are buying it to be involved in that staking pool. So a couple of things to just mention there because it is always uh, interesting when these kind of events occur and certainly something that you want to um, have conscience, uh, a conscious mentality of uh, of these things occurring as and when they do. Um, I'm just going to pull out these two fib retracement levels uh, from a long term one and a macro level one as well. So we can kind of identify where we are with the movements of EWT in recent times. Um, and more interestingly, particularly for the most recent movements here, we can see we've been playing around with this roughly $4.15 mark uh, over the last few days. And in fact, the last week or so, actually, we've seen some penetration through that up to the high levels of $4.45. Uh, $4 and even some nearer touch points around $4.74 as well. Not as high as the previous ones we saw in October where we saw it go over the $5 mark. But in general, there has been some really good opportunity for buying and selling across the last couple of months. And particularly if we look way back here in the June, July um, op option opportunities that we had, I was buying a lot of the EWT at this, this moment in time. Two, three dollars an absolute steal. And to be honest, even around the, the marker points of where it is currently is a big steal for the longevity of this project. In my honest opinion, I can see this being a $200 uh, coin in the next big bull runs around the sort of 2025 mark. Um, let us know what you think about that in the comments below. But I do believe specifically that this is a massive opportunity and possibility to occur. And in fact, if I just zoom out here, we could at least see that a $100 mark is definitely 
achievable if we're looking at data algorithms based on the fib retracements on the lowest points possible and more recent higher points that we saw at the uh, the middle stages of last year in 2021. You actually see here um, it had v various different fluctuations compared to other market moves and other asset movements in the, in the charts. Um, this one's a really big deal guys uh, heavily involved with things like European Commission and we've already spoken many 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 times about the interest I have in the energy sector and the utilization of web free blockchain this is going to be a huge topic in the next few years as climate change narrative continues to increase our bills increase and people want solutions right for more EV cars more autonomous cars uh, less cars on the road, but also the energy consumption that we use, prosumer abilities to be able to sell our excess energy on the markets. It's a really exciting time to see this kind of development and utilization in such a gigantic sector. Energy sector is huge um, and more and more conversations will be um, coming from governments, from politicians, from from you name it across the world more and more climate lockdowns may even be a thing very soon and we'll we'll easily see in the next few years they'll come out with this miraculous solution that's already been out for a long time they'll claim they're the heroes and they will uh, basically provide blockchain solutions to us all whether you think you're using them or not you will be um in this kind of capacity so i think it's really important to understand that look at all the previous videos we've done in the energy sector particularly around energy web and power ledger two assets that i hold in my portfolio there are others as well but these two are very critical and especially energy web in my opinion you just do your own research you'll figure out on top of the videos we've already done why that is such a prominent point to make so right now floating around this market here as i said it's very hard to perhaps predict over the next week or two where this is moving because this news is out now about the pools people are going to be holding uh, potentially to then add to the new ones or they may sell off as well so i'm not going to sit here and pretend i know where we are going it's not very similar to other charts or, or previous ewt videos we've done where we can just measure based on announcements and fluctuations of charts and data right there's something significant going to happen over the next couple of weeks that could have a positive or negative effect on ewt or simply just a load of volume coming in and out we'll have to see so my point being about this particular video is just to keep an eye out on all the information that will come from energy web foundations social media etc over the next couple of weeks you see here if we are going based on data we've had a bit of a phase out of the buy-in uh, this is a mixture of different announcements and including the pool announcements of course more recently uh, but in my opinion i'm still waiting for a bit more of a dip on ewt uh, we see here on the 14 day at 52 and the 28 day rsi on 51 i'm referring to this part here this gives us indication basically percentage wise on the relative strength index this means that we have a good marker and benchmark points of buying and selling right so right now it's bang on in the middle obviously zero to 100 50 is the middle of course uh, just for those that didn't know uh, but yeah 52 is very much in the middle this isn't really a bite point for me i'm more interested in the lower 40 markers to be honest and particularly on the 28 day being near enough that 42 ish mark if it goes lower brilliant and they're the kind of buy opportunities for me this is limbo this is kind of what i'm anticipating to be honest right now because of what's coming in the next coming weeks people are just going to be sitting there wondering what's going to happen do i get ready to sell do i just buy more or do i just sell and then buy the dip this is what's coming so we just have to prepare ourselves the macd as well uh just uh try and zoom in a, a bit more here uh, for you guys you can see it's just slightly narrowing um which indicates that we're we're getting a bit more of a level off here um and a bit more sideways movement on ewt we've already seen that in the chart but this confirms a lot more intricate detail on that to suggest that we may touch on that line and bounce off it uh, but it could easily break that barrier and that's when we start seeing the support levels dropping in the fib retracement levels and we might start seeing those lower regions of um, uh, four dollars bang on the four dollar mark but also potentially lower markers as well so for me personally i still have my buy orders back down here at the 370 mark and even at the 340 mark i think it's something like 346 um at the moment so i just have to reflect on those so i've already got my buy orders in for any drops that we might see 
But look at this, performance indicator-wise, it's not too bad compared to a lot of other assets out there. It's had a really good uh, three months. It's, it's not a huge number, but it's certainly better than a lot of assets out there, as I said. And this one month is really interesting as well. It's in negative, but it's only about 7% negative. So this is brilliant. And the year in general is still quite high in negative. So there's a lot more room for improvement on the way up as time goes by. As I said in many other videos, I'm not anticipating huge moves upwards of crypto for some time. We've got a lot of big events around the world still occurring and we're still in the middle of recessions and possibly depressions coming. Who knows what other nonsense they're going to throw at us as people over the next coming months. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm in this for the long run for EWT. Anything under $10 is a steal in my opinion. And I think this is going to be a phenomenal project moving forward, especially as the energy sector takes over with blockchain. Um, and I do think this is going to be a phenomenally high value project um, and asset holding for sure. Um, let us know what you think about that in the comments below. What are you looking forward to with the staking? Have you been staking already like I have been? Uh, how are the rewards looking for you? Don't need to know ex exact numbers. I just want to know whether they've been successful for you or not or not and if you're looking forward to the next development of the staking pools i know i am um, and it'd be interesting to see what rankings we all get so maybe we'll have a we'll have a bit of a, a contest on that now hopefully i'm in gold who knows but i will be taking part either way in any of them because uh, i really would love to accumulate ewt uh, without me having to chuck loads of money in all the time it'd be nice to make the money for me right uh, as the saying goes so that's a bit of a wrap up of EWT, guys. Thanks for watching and listening wherever you are around the world. We will cover nearer the time of these pools ending and beginning, as we said earlier. Uh, but until then, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next EWT video. Take care. Bye-bye.